Now Diego Alonso chose to take off his goal threat. De Arisqueta, who scored both goals for Uruguay here, taken off. Luis Suarez, taken off. Darwin Nunez, taken off. Is that a corner? It's an offside decision and a free kick to Uruguay. Russia with the smash away downfield. How much more? That's a very, very poor challenge indeed, and that will be a free kick. Maxi Gomez fell. Yellow card to Sebu Alidu. Yeah, this is it, Steve. This is it. The last chance to learn what we're trying to put into a dangerous area. Will somebody have a, a proper goal? We've got to get it right. This free kick needs to lead to a Uruguayan goal. Otherwise, South Korea are into the last 16 of the World Cup. It looks very much like it's going to be taken by De La Cruz. Nicolas De La Cruz. This has to go in, and it doesn't. And the referee blows his whistle. And they're out. The pair of them are out. The tears flow for Luis Suarez. The end of his World Cup career. The same goes for Edinson Cavani, for Diego Godin, for Martin Caceres, for Fernando Muslera, some of the greats of Uruguayan football. They won't have another major tournament in them. And look at the fury. The yellow cards are being shown like confetti here at Uruguayan players who are exiting the World Cup finals in anger and fury directed at the German referee. Ghana have gone to. They're both out and South Korea are through. It's finished at Al Janoub with tears all around. It's finished, Ghana nil, Uruguay two. Oh wow, football eh? It's brutal, it's breathtaking, and it's brilliant. Extraordinary scenes there. As Uruguay came so close, that penalty shout. They're furious about, of course, VAR didn't turn it over. And here, South Korea, we're watching they had a little screen, all in a huddle on the middle of the pitch. There it is, just on the top.